Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Good morning, tea sippers. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas and a happy holidays. I am back with some more tea. Now, let me go ahead and explain this real quick. Um, my Instagram is probably going to be a little bit dry. Um, the YouTube community feed might be a little bit dry because the wonderful lady who posts on there, she's getting married. Uh, Maida, she's getting married. So um, I let her take a week off so she won't be back until the first. You know, she's focusing on her wedding and she just looks so gorgeous. She's been sending me all her little bridal pictures and party pictures and stuff like that. So... And right now I'm busy uh, doing my deep dive. So I've been working on my deep dive off and on, you know, for like the past few weeks. So any spare time I'm doing the deep dives, I don't have time to post on Instagram and community feeds and stuff like that. So please forgive me. It's going to be dry the next few days, but she'll be back around the first. So please give us grace. Okay. We're just a team. We're a small team here. Okay. We don't have no big ass team of people. It's just, you know, literally just a small team of us. And I appreciate my team. You know, my few people that, that help me keep the, <laughs> keep <laughs> the ones that help me keep everything going. Cause I'm child. <laughs> It's a lot of damn work, but I'm not complaining. You know what I'm saying? God is good regardless of the situation. So thank you all for y'all's patience. Like I said, hopefully I can, you know, hire a few more people in 2024. But, you know, you got to trust folks before you can hire them. And, you know, everybody ain't, child, you got to be careful who you bring in your circle, honey, before they hurt you. But I love Maida. She's just been a blessing over the past. I've known her for five years, but I brought her on full time two years ago, and she's just been a blessing. So congrats to her. So now in other news, if you guys do not know, uh, Beyonce's daughter, honey, she done left the, the Carter compound, and she's out here kicking it with the uh, Jenner Kardashians. So some little girl was on Instagram being messy. You know how we do when you see somebody, but you want to play it off like you're taking a selfie of yourself, but you're really trying to catch that person in the background. I've done that before, so I'm not mad at this little girl, but this little girl was definitely being messy, okay? So she was pretending to take a selfie, and who do we see in the background of the selfie? None other than Blue Ivy Carter, okay? So this went viral all over Instagram and Twitter, and people were shocked because for so long, people have acted like Blue Ivy was... I guess better than or you know the Carters didn't allow you know Blue Ivy to hang around hang around Kanye's kids because they're more ghetto or you know they're just they do too much they do a lot on social media North is always on social media uh Saint is out here flipping off photographers giving them the bird okay Saint is off the chain like his daddy <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. And so people have kind of made it up in their mind that Blue Ivy would never, Rummy, and I don't even know the other one's names, child. I'm sorry, Beyonce. I don't know. The only one I know is Blue. But Rummy and the little boy, is his name Sean Carter, too? Junior? I don't know. But they always feel like, you know, Beyonce's kids would never. They're a little bit above the fray. They don't hang with the Jenner Kardashians just because, you know, they're a little bit, you know, ratchet a little bit, a little bit, you know. But. It looks like, you know, all of those rumors and all of those innuendos that people have been spreading for years on the internet are a lie because Blue Ivy was definitely in attendance. Um, she was dressed appropriately, had on a jacket, her hair was pulled back in a ponytail. She looked cute from what I could see, you know, wasn't like, you know, it was kind of low key blurry, but, you know, she was giving. Um, I don't know who's in front of her. I don't know if that's Kim or Penelope. All I see is brown hair. I don't know. But, Yes, Blue Ivy Carter was definitely at the Kardashian-Jenner annual Christmas party. So, like I said, the internet was shooketh. But this is why I don't, you know, this is why I mind the business that pays me when it comes to children. I don't get involved in children drama. Um, at the end of the day, these are kids. 
And um, I don't see why people think that Blue Ivy is above hanging out with the Kardashian kids. They're all around the same age. At one point in time, their fathers were best friends. They were very close at one time, so I'm not shocked at all that the kids would be hanging out together. And we never know what goes on behind the scenes. Just because you don't see public pictures of Blue Ivy hanging out with Northwest does not mean that they're enemies. That just means that Beyonce doesn't want her kids photographed and you know being put out there on display. You know, she's more private with it, whereas Kim Kardashian is trying to turn Northwest into this tiny influencer. So I'm not surprised to see her at the party, um, you know, and I hope they all had a good time and, you know, drank a lot of eggnog. And, and hopefully this was just a normal Christmas party and not an eyes wide shut party. OK, so in other news. Fans are now convinced that DDG and Holly Bailey gave birth to their child. So on December 23rd, two days before Christmas, DDG took to social media and he wrote, life is amazing with the teary face emoji. And so a lot of people thought that was strange. And that was the only thing he wrote that day, you know, just said life is amazing. And that was it. Then all of a sudden, you know, on Christmas, we see Holly and DDG, they're opening presents and... As a mother who has given birth not once but twice, I know some lactating titties and that struggle get up out of a chair when I see one, okay? So I want y'all to watch this video. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Don't fall apart. And y'all see how she got up. That's how a lot of people when you first give birth, that's how you get up because it just feels weird. Your body's kind of off balance. You don't have that big baby, you know what I'm saying, in your stomach anymore. So you're still trying to kind of keep your balance. You're bleeding. Titties are heavy. So like just things, your body doesn't feel like how it normally felt before pregnancy. So to me, the way she got up and kind of waddled, that was definitely, I just gave birth. And the way them titties was kind of <laughs> saying, shaking a little bit, those were definitely milk-filled titties, okay? I'm just saying, I'm a mother of two. And in the second video, he's given her a gift. Um, and my thing is, for a month, she's been hiding her stomach. You know, like there's always something in front of her stomach, a big dumbass bag, a pillow, DDG. There's always something in front of her stomach. And now all of a sudden, there's, there's nothing there. It's just, you know, a baggy Christmas shirt. But what's even more crazy, I want y'all to watch this video. You can hear a baby crying in the background. So this is the, like, basically the cherry on top. Because I hurt the baby too, okay? So y'all go ahead and watch this. They're drinking this shit. So yeah, I clearly heard a baby crying and then all of a sudden the man is like, cut, cut, cut. Cause they're trying to film, you know, I guess for the social media, whatever. That was definitely the sound of a newborn baby. Um, you know, part of me is like, these people are just weird. Like, like what, why are we hiding this? Like, she's not 13. She's a grown woman. Um, you guys have explained to me time and time again why y'all don't like the baby daddy. But at the end of the day, that's who she chose to get knocked up by. That is her grown business. Um, but then I kind of understand why they're keeping it secret because the internet is an ugly place. And people are already going in on the baby daddy. People feel like he's, a, you know, she's above him and she's settled and all this stuff. And so maybe they just want to enjoy their child in secret. But eventually they're going to have to come out and explain this child. They don't have to explain the birth today, but eventually people are going to see this child. Um, I don't know if they're trying to pull a, a Kylie Jenner because remember she went and hid her whole pregnancy. And then when she had the baby, she came out, let everybody know that she had her child with Travis Scott. And so maybe they're trying to do the same thing. Maybe they'll announce it in a few days, but... They're not doing a good job of hiding it if the baby is in the vicinity where we can hear the baby cry. <laughs> like you can't, <laughs> you can't be in one room. The baby's like literally right there and we can hear the baby. The baby should have been upstairs in the attic, okay? <laughs> Hidden away, you know what I'm saying? With the nurse rocking the baby to sleep or something. So I just find it very funny that they're hiding this child, but I do understand it because the internet can be a very ugly place. But congratulations to both of them on their journey through parenthood. So now, last but not least, I want to talk about Kanye West. So it looks like Kanye West is issuing another apology to the Jewish community because obviously the money ain't money in and he's definitely, you know, he's not broke, but you can go broke quickly if you have no real income coming in. And it seems like, you know, he's struggling right now. 
to book gigs and to do things creatively and stuff like that. So yesterday, Kanye decided to um, write another apology, and this time he wrote it in the Jewish language of Hebrew, okay? And this is what it says in English. He says, I sincerely apologize to the Jewish community for my unintended outbursts caused by my words or action. It was not my intention to hurt or disrespect. I deeply regret any pain I may have caused. I am committed to starting with myself and learning from this experience to ensure greater sensitivity and understanding in the future. Your forgiveness is important to me and I'm committed to making amends and promoting unity. So that is what Kanye West said. And a lot of people were bothered by that because they felt like, well, Kanye, you disrespected the black community and said that slavery was a choice. And we still have to, and we still to this day have never gotten an apology. But yet this is like the third time you've apologized to the Jewish community. So anyways, right now the ADL, which stands for the Anti-Defamation League, they have responded to Kanye's apology. And this is what they're saying. They're saying after causing untold damage by using his vast influence and platform to poison countless minds with vicious anti-Semitism and hate, an apology in Hebrew may be the first step on a long journey towards making amends to the Jewish community and all those who he has hurt. Ultimately, actions will speak louder than words, but his initial act of contrition is welcomed. So that is what they had to say about the situation. Um, at the end of the day, it's up to each individual if they want to forgive Kanye West or not. Um, you know, I don't think the ADL needs to speak for the whole community. I'm sure there are some Jewish people who love and forgive Kanye, and there's others who, you know, basically feel like Kanye can go F himself. But I think that is up to the individual, not up to an entire group. But that is their response. So it's going to be very interesting to see what Kanye does next and what he has to say. But I feel like he's now apologizing because he sees that that money is long and it's not coming in. And 2024 is going to be a rocky year. OK, we have a lot of layoffs. People were getting laid off around Christmas, which is very unfortunate. We're layoffs. We're just getting started. We're layoffs. We're going to be worse next year. We're layoffs. Companies hate to admit that we're happening. We're layoffs. We're also known as restructuring. We're layoffs. We're also known as right sizing. We're layoffs. Sometimes we can come when you least expect it. We have all these celebrities crying about their pay, actors crying about their pay. Recently, Terrence Howard said that he only made like 12 grand off of Hustle and Flow. Um, Gabrielle Union put up this skit yesterday where she talked about black female actresses and their struggles. Y'all can go ahead and watch both these videos right now. Check this out. I made $12,000 for doing Hustle and Flow. And then on top of it, what Paramount did, <laughs> instead of putting my name as Terrence Howard performing the, the songs, right. they put performed by DJ. Well, they own DJ. So guess what? The performance royalties went to Paramount. They went, Wait a so minute. They didn't go to Terrence Howard. Howard. They went $12, to... All, that's all I ever made from Hustle and Flow. Everything else went right back into Paramount. So now I got to sue Paramount or send them a letter. Are you serious? I got to send them a letter to say, hey, you guys owe me about 20 years worth of residuals and, and performance royalties. But I didn't know. I was just, right, trying, right, I was just right. trying to pay my rent then. I made $6,000 doing, doing Crash. Crash didn't... I remember the movie Crash. Though. Yes, that's right. That's right. The business don't pay actors anything. That's why we're... That's why the strike is going on. Actors are struggling. As you and I were kind of joking earlier, it's hard out here for a pimp. Yeah, it is hard, unless you do it right. I'm a black actress and producer in Hollywood. Of course I've been mistaken for Garcelle Brandy, Ashanti, Sanania, both Hallie's and both Regina's. I'm a black actress and producer in Hollywood. Of course our box office success has never mattered. I'm a black actress and producer in Hollywood. Of course I have to put my glam team in my contract because... <laughs> I'm a black actress and producer in Hollywood. Of course I was 30 playing 15. <laughs> I'm a black actress and producer in Hollywood. Of course I'm going to have to work until it's the end. Because we can't retire. We don't make enough. I'm a black actress and producer in Hollywood, and of course, I have mastered the art of communicating without communicating when we are around. Usually it goes something like... I'm a black actress and producer in Hollywood, and of course, my favorite phrase is, don't f with my money. Don't f 
All right, so you guys just saw both of those videos. So it's a lot coming down the pipeline. And I think a lot of these celebrities are worried because right now, you know, regular people are struggling to make ends meet. You know, they're dealing with layoffs. They're dealing with real issues. People don't care about Hollywood like that anymore. They don't care about celebrity issues. They're not going to concerts like that. They're not watching movies like that because they're trying to make sure that their own families are good. So I think the money is not money. And like I've been saying for a while now, and it's happening in every sector, even here on YouTube. So like I've been saying for years, save whatever you make, put some stuff to the side for a rainy day because we're going to be in for a bumpy ride, unfortunately, in 2024. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Please make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. It looks like we will get to a million subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Soon enough in 2024, I'm super excited because, again, none of these subscribers were bought. These are all real people who follow and support me. So I love you guys for that, and I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas once again. I will talk to y'all later. Enjoy the rest of your day. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.